Hey everybody. Today we're talking about alt text and data visualization. Alt text is a short description of a visual element in your document that a screen reader like JAWS will read out loud when it gets to that visual element. Including alt text in your documents for data science communication is a best practice and it's valuable for any number of reasons. In this vid, I want to talk about some of those reasons, talk about some best practices for adding alt text, and I want to show you how to add alt text to your Quarto documents that you might create, for instance, using RStudio. So first of all, why should you care about alt text even when you know with reasonable certainty that you're only communicating with a fully sighted audience? Well, there's several really great reasons to include alt text anyway. First of all, Reading by listening is becoming more and more common, as the audiobook explosion demonstrates. Secondly, if an image can't load, for instance on a website, your alt text will generally be displayed instead of that image. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, forcing yourself to describe your visualizations in one or two sentences each is a really good practice. It's a valuable exercise that will often lead you to make refinements to your plots before including them for publication. In general, when you're including a plot, you should have an idea of why, what's it for, what's the data story that it's telling. Okay, so I want to swap over to Chrome, and here's a visualization that I made using Quarto, and I just want to really quickly show how you can uh, access the, the alt text here just visually without actually having access to a screen reader. For instance, I don't have JAWS on my laptop. So if you right-click on your image and go to Inspect, you'll get a bunch of information here and including, right away, highlighted actual alt text. So in this case, I've actually written something about this histogram, which uh, comes from the SAC Overflow data set. I'll show you the code for making this histogram in just a little bit. Actually, I can just scroll up and you can see it there. But I'll go over to Studio in just a little bit. And uh, this procedure of right-clicking and then going to Inspect or Inspect Element or Inspect Element Properties is uniform across browsers. So it's very similar if you're in Firefox or Safari. Okay, so when you're writing alt text for a plot, what should you be, what are some best practices? What should you actually be including in your alt text? So there are really three things that you want to get across in just one or two sentences. You want to say what kind of plot it is, so in this case a histogram. You want to briefly describe the variable or variables that are being displayed and uh, give a tiny bit of information about why you're including the plot. What's the overall trend? So for instance, in a penguin scatter plot from the standard, standard penguins data set, you might say, a scatter plot showing bill length versus bill depth in Antarctic penguins colored by species. In each of the three groups, there's an upward trend with the dailies tending to have the shortest bills. So here I'm hitting each one of those three items, each one of those three things that I have in the bullet points, and I'm doing it briefly. You don't want this to be overly verbose, but you do want to get all three of those key pieces of information. Next, let's swap over to RStudio and see how we can actually get the alt text into that visualization that I just showed you. So here we are in our studio with a very minimal um, Quarto document. I'm using an HTML output. I want this to be something that I might add to a website or other interactive document. In my standard setup chunk here, I've loaded tidyverse and model data. <laughs> model data is where the Stack Overflow data set that I'm using is contained, as well as the Penguins data set. As usual, I'll post this Quarto document to my GitHub. I'll throw a link in the comments. Um, so that you can tinker with this on your own. So to get alt text into a Quarto document, you use an option for your, a chunk option with a hash pipe, and the chunk option is fig alt. Here you can see the exact text that we saw when I was over in Chrome a second ago. A histogram showing the number of years survey respondents have been coding on the job. The peak is at around two years, with a large isolated spike at 20 years, the maximum value in the set. Here we see I've got those three key elements that I showed on a slide a minute ago. I've got the type of plot, the variables that are included in, in the plot, and the overall trend of the data. Um, before we wrap up this video, I want to mention just a few other best practices to consider when, making, uh, when adding alt text to your files. 
First of all, you should use correct grammar and punctuation according to the standards of the rest of your documents. So in general, you end sentences with a period, stuff like that. Secondly, um, I think this is important to say out loud, it's okay to refer to color or other visual elements in your description. People that don't have sight still are aware that there's a thing called color in the world and that it's used to distinguish groups and data visualization. You shouldn't duplicate adjacent text from the body of your document. So if you're fully explaining a visualization in the body of your document, you don't need to copy paste that into your alt text. In fact, generally, you don't want to. Imagine yourself listening to this, to your document being read out loud. You don't want to hear the same paragraph twice. And uh, going along with that, if the plot is fully described elsewhere, it's okay to briefly just say that in your alt text rather than copy pasting everything. If you don't really want to have alt text, good practice is just to put the word null in for your alt text so that a listener can distinguish between um, alt text that isn't really necessary and alt text that has just been left out for potentially inadvertently. And so they can know if they might really be missing pertinent information. Overall, adding alt text to your data visualizations is a quick and easy best practice that you can use to expand your potential audience and increase the overall quality of your data communications.